Mr. Simoji, my old friend. Who's... The book entitled Our Greatest Fears is the Transition of Power authored by Godfrey Mitch Seruwaji is anchored on Uganda's political history of anarchy, chronicled in the different power shifts since independence. The past is too dark to look back, as the author's open letter to the president speaks out that President Museveni, whom he described as the father of the nation, should prepare the country for peaceful transition once he chooses to retire. Transition is a very complex. Becoming a president is a very big job. We need to train, for example, the vice president. We need to train the president, president elect. We need to have the army transition group that will brief the new president about the national security, where, where, how many guns we have in the country. Seruwaji's sentiment could be shared by many Ugandans who predict doom ahead of the 2016 general election. However, the ruling government thinks otherwise. We'll be talking about the fear of transition of power. If we only instilled in our population the fear for law, if we all observe the rule of law, hence observance of the constitution, observance of the constitution enshrined in those for whom the constitution is sacred, then you will not be, there will not be fear for transition or power. The book then raised debate on how to ensure that the country does not fall back to its history. Through his political lens, DP President Nobat Mao shared his thoughts centered on President Museveni's decision to stand come 2016. The only way to have peaceful transition in Uganda today is if President Museveni does not stand in 2016. Because if he stands, he must win. And if he wins, and the measures he has to take in order to win infuriates the people, then violence will follow. As the debate took shape, it attracted attention of the ruling party, which has a different dimension to a peaceful transition of power. If we, the political actors, choose to fan anarchy, Okay, choose to violate the own constitution we've put in place. Choose to take the root of hooliganism and not civilize the politics. Anarchy will be there automatically and will learn the hard way. But if we go out and promote issue-based politics, politics of substance as opposed to emotion, Ugandans now have the capacity to elect a person relevant to them and thanks to the NRM. The opposition has on several occasions lost the presidential polls since 1996, the first election since President Museveni took over power. Mao says that that speaks volumes on the political future of the nation. He, however, is optimistic that President Museveni could decline to stand in 2016 if given an offer. So the fear of transition is not only with the citizens. Even President Museveni is afraid. He has stepped on many toes. He has offended many quarters. It is therefore our duty, particularly as the opposition, and those who are aggrieved, to assure him that we shall have to put the past behind us and move on. The 323-page book also spells out in the need to win back the electorate's confidence in the Electoral Commission by establishing an independent body. Whenever we, we finish an election, there are, there are fights, there are violence, there are people who think that they, they were stolen out of elections. Uh, Colonel Kizabesi has gone to court for so, many, for so many times, and when he goes to court and when he calls his people, that is, it constitutes violence, and when are we going to end this? So by having this independent electoral commission, I think all this suspiciousness that the people have after an election will end. The book then concludes that with such debate, the country can form a foundation upon which it can stand, not only during the 2016 general elections, but also more to come. Solomon